Hello, students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss multi-comparison tests, namely T-test, Tuckis test, and Duncan's test. Let us start with our major problem. Dr. Turgo was interested to find out the effect of mode of delivery and teaching medium to performance of college students in sex education. He involved four populations represented by a probability sample set each with five sample numbers in his study. There were two modes, online and on-site. There were two media, Bicol Taglish and English. The sampling design is presented in the succeeding table. So we have a two by two design, two rows and two columns. The column means and the sample means are already presented in the table. Assuming alpha equals 0 0.05, Letter A, test if a significant difference occurs in the mean performances of the populations of students due to instructional medium. Test if a significant difference in the mean performances occurs between the populations due to mode of delivery. And test if a significant difference in the mean performances occurs between the populations due to the interaction between medium and mode of delivery. Letter B, test if a significant difference in the mean performances occurs in each of the following six pairs. This uh, letter A problem will be solved using ANOVA two-factor with replication. And uh, this can be done in Excel, but we have to retabulate the data to suit the format of Excel. Shown are the retabulated data. And uh, since they are already in an Excel sheet, we will have to click data, click data analysis, select ANOVA two factor with the replication, click OK. The ANOVA box appears. Type in input range A1 colon C11, 0 0.05 for alpha, 5 in rows per sample. Click output range and type F1 in output range. Click OK. The Excel sheet yields the ANOVA output showing the data needed for making a decision. So let us present here the procedure for hypothesis testing that starts with the problems. Our problems are, is there a significant difference between the row means, between the column means, and between the interaction means? This is followed by our null hypothesis, which are, there is no significant difference between the row means, between the column means, and between the interaction means. And we have the alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference between the row means, between the column means, and between the interaction means. These are the conditions and we already have the results. If F statistic is less than F critical, accept 
null hypothesis, reject alternative hypothesis. If F statistic is greater than F critical, reject null hypothesis, accept alternative hypothesis. The results from the ANOVA output shows or show that F statistic is less than F critical. So we have to accept HO and reject HA for the rows. There is no significant difference between the row means. For the column means, we have the same conditions and the ANOVA output shows that F statistic is greater than the F critical. So we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference between the column means. For the interaction, the same conditions, the ANOVA output shows that F statistic is greater than F critical, so we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference between the interaction means. So the analysis of variance to factor with replication answered letter A. But the ANOVA analysis, the analysis of variance output does not show proof of significant difference in the performance in sex education between the samples with the six pairs. The multi-comparison problem was not answered. So we will start again with the question. Is there a significant difference between the means in the performance in sex education in at least one of the following pairs? Here shown the six pairs. This is a multi-comparison test which must be started with ANOVA single factor. No significant difference in at least a pair indicates that it is pointless to continue to the multi-comparison test. For the said problem, this will be our null hypothesis. There is no significant difference in the means between at least one of the following six pairs. And this will be our alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference in the means between at least one of the following pairs, the six pairs shown. The ANOVA single factor for determining if there is a significant difference in at least a pair shall start the analysis. But we have to, again to retabulate the data. And uh, after we retabulated the data in Excel sheet, we get the means of the four samples, the differences between the six pairs, and of course the ANOVA single factor output. These are now the conditions and results for the ANOVA single factor analysis. If F statistic is less than the F critical, accept HO, reject HA. If F statistic is greater than F critical, reject HO and accept HA. The results of the ANOVA single factor analysis shows that F statistic is greater than the F critical. Therefore, we reject HO and accept HA. There is a significant difference between at least a pair from among the six pairs. 
this signals that we have an evidence to proceed to multi-comparison tests. In our multi-comparison tests, we use first t-test and we use t-test two samples assuming equal variances. We now proceed to the t-testing of the means of the following six pairs. For this pair shown is the t-test output. The t-test shows that the t statistic is less than the t critical. We accept the null, hypo null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis. There is no significant difference in this pair. For the next pair, this is the t-test output. The output shows that the T statistic is less than the T critical. So we accept the null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis. There is no significant difference in this pair. For the next pair, shown is the T test output, which show, shows that the T statistic is greater than the T critical. So we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference in this pair. For the next pair, this is the T test output. And the output shows that the absolute value of the T statistic is greater than the absolute value of the T critical. We reject HO and accept HA. There is significant difference in this pair. For the next pair, shown is the t-test output. And the output uh, says that the t statistic is less than the t-critical. We accept HO and reject HA. There is no significant difference in this pair. For the next pair, this is the t-test output. And the output shows that t statistic is greater than the t critical. So we reject HO and accept HA. There is significant difference in this pair. And this is now the summary of the t-tests. We now go to the multi-comparison test using Tuckis test. And this is the formula for the computed cum tabulated distance or range between two means, considering the standard deviation and the tabulated studentized range. We need also the variance of the error and the tabulated studentized range, which can be searched in the link shown. So we need for the variance error, the result from the ANOVA two factor with replication. So I am again showing here the output of, the, of that analysis. This is the continuation of the determination of the value of the formula for Tokish test. So the same solution has been programmed in this Excel sheet. Again, this is the con continuation of the computation. And finally, we have here the summary of the 
results of the toughest tests. We go next to the Duncan's multiple range test, and we need to find the value of the computed tabulated range and also the tabulated studentized range, which can, which can be searched in the link shown. So we also need the value of the variance of the error, which can be located from the ANOVA Excel sheet. This is the continuation of the solution. Again, continuation of the solution. And finally, we have here the summary of Duncan's tests. We now have here the table showing the comparison between the three tests. For the pair on-site Biko Taglish, online Biko Taglish, the difference is three. This test shows it is not, the difference is not significant. But Taki's test and Duncan's test show that the difference of three is significant. For the online Biko Taglish online English, the difference is 1.6. And all the three tests conclude that it is not significant. For the online English, on-site English pair, the difference is 1.8. And the three tests are in unison that this difference is not significant. For the on-site Beagle Taglish online English pair, the difference is 4.6. All the three tests are in unison that this difference is significant. And so are, so are the differences in the next two pairs. The difference of three between online Bicol Taglish and on-site Bicol Taglish was not significant in the t-test, but was significant in the Tokis and Dundas tests. The rest of the test results were similar among T, Tokis, and Dundas. For the result which was conflicting, which would you consider? This can be approached in two ways. One is to go deeper into the analysis of the commission of a type 1 error or a type 2 error. The other one is, if you are the researcher or the decision, the decision maker, in making the inference, decide on whether a difference of three matters. Thank you for viewing and listening. This is Eddie Seba C.